What is up everybody and welcome to Homemade Everything. Today we are building NOTHING. We are going to be tearing apart this old carburetor. Um, obviously it, um, it's been on here a minute. We have four new spark plugs and we have a carburetor kit. So now that I have the wasp nests removed out of here, there is a lot more free flowing air which I thought would be a good thing. However, this is an old gummed up carburetor so it was getting restricted fuel and restricted air which was causing a perfect ratio of air fuel mixture into the engine. So now that this is clean, it's actually running lean which means it's not getting enough fuel for it to run right. So we need to clean this thing out, put this carburetor kit in it, and then once we get that carburetor back together, we need to tune it to the appropriate amount of air coming, coming in. So we'll have a good ratio once again, and then she'll be running like a top once again. So let's get to work. She's free. Gasoline. All right, so now we're gonna leave this thing for, I don't know, a while, and come back and clean the parts. Henry Ford created these machines in a way that they would optimize fuel economy. Even back in the 40s and 50s, they were worried about fuel consumption. You know, that's the reason that I'm cleaning this carb out is if it's not running right, it's just gonna be consuming way more fuel than it needs to, plus you're gonna be losing power. So if I could get a, a couple more horses back out of this engine and all the while use less fuel, then that's a win-win for everybody. All right, so we got this thing all torn apart. Now it's time for uh, blowing out the jets. For blowing out the jets, I'm gonna use compressed air. Seems to work really well. All right, jets are all cleaned, now reassembly. All right, it is all together and tight. That's what she said. <clears throat> no. Uh, ready to be thrown on the tractor and then tuned as far as air and fuel ratio goes. Nice and shiny. Let's go put this thing on the tractor. Hook the linkages back up to uh, choke and throttle. Is hooked up. We go around and turn the fuel on on the other side, let that trickle down. And then if we get this thing tuned, then we can put some new spark plugs in it. Let's see what we got.
Well, it runs. It's got some pretty bad throttle response. I think it's running lean right now. We're gonna open up this jet. I'm very happy with that. So while pulling spark plugs, I realized I have a compression tester. I might as well go ahead and uh, check my compression while I have these spark plugs out. Uh, looks pretty good. There's a little bit of carbon on it, but it's real fine dust. I'm gonna leave the key off so that it's not even sparking. I don't have any fuel turned on right now. Make sure the baby's good. All right. So they were running about 100, 105 maybe PSI. That's awesome. That's really good. That's cylinder number one. Again, about 105. That one may have a little more compression than the front two, but it was still about 105, 110. Um, if y'all have any questions on compression, I'm happy to explain what I'm talking about. Uh, I just assume that if you're still watching, then you're probably a motorhead and you know what I'm talking about. All right, cylinder four. That one also threaded in really well and obviously had better compression than the first two, but only by a little bit. So having really even numbers all the way across the board is awesome. Here's the condition of its current spark plugs. Yeah, so they're in need of some help. Okay, and you use your uh, very precise spark plug gapper to gap it to where it looks right. Watch this old girl idle all day. The babies are sleeping right now. I'm not going to go for a ride, but I'll take it out in the morning. We'll see how it does. There's a big difference between how things run when they're at idle and when they're under a load. So when it's under a load doing some work, we'll see if it still runs consistently well. And if it does, then we know we're tuned just right. And just the other night, I showed you all a sunset out here. I always seem to be out here right as the sun's going down. Mama's putting the babies in bed at the same time every night. Yeah, let's get a shot of that. Good night, everybody. I'm gonna crank it up, let it warm up for a second, and then make sure it's still tuned right. <clears throat> Fuel on. And as long as it is tuned right, then I'll leave it alone and go for a short drive. Or if it needs some tuning, we'll tune it.
Little Sioux runs pretty good. What y'all think? So I've done just about every tune-up that I want to do on that tractor. I think it runs great now. Um, I need to turn the fuel off. But uh, one last thing that I do want to do is air up the tires. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. It's not very interesting on camera, so I'll let y'all go. But I did want to thank Brandon Bills for sending me this hat. Um, y'all have seen this logo on these videos for a while now, so I appreciate it, Branded Bills. Uh, y'all are just awesome. Right now, with all of the hurricanes that we've had here in the U.S., Branded Bills is helping fund the Red Cross. I believe $5 of every hat purchase goes towards the Red Cross, so as soon as we get done with all these hurricanes here in the States, I would like y'all to go back to using the uh, homemade code for brandedbills.com um, so that y'all can get 20% off of your order. However, I say at this point, let's get as many dollars to them as we can, and then as soon as these hurricanes are done, just destroy in places, then uh, we can go ahead and go back to getting our discount. So thank you very much, and we will see y'all on the next project, which is right here. Bye!